Having great re-indexing and retention has become the standard for this tier, but adding in the ability to adjust the angle or ride height for any position, and suddenly you have something completely wild. From vertical to angle to horizontal, you have a mag pouch that can just do whatever you want and still give a competition level of performance regardless of orientation. You don't have to buy different special mag pouches that only work in like one angle or one orientation. You have one pouch and you can change it to whatever you want. It's funny because in this situation, you're really only limited by your imagination. Instead of being limited by your wallet where you, you buy like 80 different pouches and realize none of them actually work or they don't work exactly how you want them to. Hey, welcome back my favorite robed weather changers. Today I got one I've been dying to show you and actually teased you a little bit already with a day one product reveal. I know the last time I shared some crazy mag pouches. You all slammed that company until they had like an eight month wait. Not this time though, Dynamic Principles has been putting these together for months to cut down on the backlog for you heathens. Let's see if we can stress them the hell out, so make sure to drink up. We're also doing a giveaway where you can win a set of these in Multicam Alpine. I'll talk about it more later on in the video and go over the details, but I also have a link to it down in the description if you wanna enter to win that now. Those pouches you can win and the ones we'll be looking at today are the all new Cantable Mag Pouches by Dynamic Principles. Now these are the same pouches I used in that Ready or Not loadout, and I have it set up here similarly with all sorts of unique angles and configurations. I'll link to that Ready or Not loadout here if you wanna see more about a whole configuration, but I'll tell you, these pouches are just the king when it comes to customization. I wanna show you more, but before we do, let's take a moment, thank today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored in part by Fatboy Tripods. Fatboy tripods have been continually driving innovation to the tactical and hunting world. With the inverted legs of the Elevate to deploy quickly, plus the Levitate head to adjust tension with just the flick of a wrist, you have a stable quick deploy shooting platform for any environment. Fatboy tripods are just mastering accuracy literally anywhere. I use Fatboy tripods for my camera setups like the one I'm using today because they all use Arca heads and then they pull double duty where I can actually attach my rifles on them also when I do a range day. So if you want to pick up one of the Fatboy tripods, make sure to use discount code TLDCO over at fatboytripods.com. The guys over at Fatboy are just awesome and I love the support they do for the whole firearms industry and the support they give over at TLD. So big thanks to them. Now for the next part, we got to talk a little bit about my biases. So these new Cantable mag pouches were sent to me from Dan over at Dynamic Principles, and him and I do chat about gear a lot. And we even hang out and play Ready or Not to train CQB together and work through complex training scenarios. I say that because I think Dan is a fantastic guy, but that also means I probably have a fairly heavy bias. So as always, watch other reviewers than just me so you can be the most educated consumer possible. All right, though, let's get started and first explain what the heck the Cantable mag pouch even is and why I think it's the most customizable and probably one of the best mag pouches on the market. Here are the Cantable mag pouches. At first glance, they look very similar to standard STAC pouches. They have an outer pouch that can be customized for a bunch of different camo patterns. The colors at launch are black, ranger green, coyote, wolf gray, multicam, multicam black, for my basement bros and those guys who think they hide better with that color in the dark, Multicam Tropic, Multicam Arid, and M81, giving you a ton of different options to customize these into. Inside the pouch is an s style insert, so you have that great re-indexing and draw that you're used to in the style of the hard mag pouches. But we've seen all this, and I've actually told you guys a couple times that I kind of like the HRT ARC mag pouches a little more than the s style. But let me show you the twist that comes with the Cantable mag pouches. I mean, there is a bit of a giveaway. It's, it's kind of in the name. At the rear of the Cantable pouch, we see something unique. The standard Molly connection has been removed and replaced with these laser cut hole patterns. These hole patterns line up to work with the Safariland ELS and Blade Tech designs, but are actually purpose built to be paired directly with the Guardian Warriors Solutions adapters. Like here I have my pistol mag pouches angled, but they're actually angled just a bit differently than one another. 
I also have a rifle mag pouch connected in the front of my belt, but this time angled slightly upward to give me a faster grab. Even the side rifle mag is angled slightly rearward to give me a cleaner coat can grip. But that's really just the tip of the iceberg as you could instead remove that whole pouch from your belt and instead run it angled down on the front of your plate gear like we have it in this configuration. I even saw some setups from the Guardian Warrior Solutions team with two rifle mag pouches on this carrier, but both angled slightly differently to get access to both mags. It's really pretty insane when you start to mess with it. And I'll say the longer I played with these pouches, the more I was able to come up with some really smart configurations. Now, I will address this when we start to talk about some of the pros and cons, but this extreme level of customization means you do have to spend a bit more time configuring it and setting it all up. So that means this may not be the perfect solution for everyone, but for those users who are in their kit all the time that just wanna take things up a level or be able to make that small tweak or adjustment to the way things are set up, well, these are great because you can do exactly that. Here though, let me show you how to set it all up. The first thing you need to know is what eight apps you need to connect everything in to your belt or your plate carrier. Here, I'll throw up a good guide for you. Micros are for 1.75 belts, smalls for two inch belts, and three inch belts or standard Molly, you want the full size eight apps. Make sure that you order the eight apps when you order your pouches too, otherwise you're gonna have pouches that you can't connect into anything and you're gonna leave me a whole ton of angry comments. The pouches connects into the eight apps and the eight apps connect into the Molly. Here, here, I'll show you. Oh, there's also a cleaner way to do the double pistol orientation. So let me show you that before you go off and order everything. And no, we don't have a discount code yet. Sorry for that. You guys can yell at Dan over at Dynamic Principles. This belt is also one I haven't shown you yet with the Hercules Tactical. And it's super unique in how it has a vertical Molly slot to connect pouches in sideways. It also connects into itself to add in some extra rigidity and does a ton of other super smart stuff. So I'll show you this belt later in a different review, but you can connect these same ADAPs into any other type of belt with Molly or like mech belts or anything else. So yeah, not just this belt, anything else on the market too. For the first step in setting up my pistol pouches, I wanted to start out with an ADAP one short. And first you wanna align the ADAP to the pouch and find the angle you want. You wanna line up at least two of the holes on the rear of the cannibal pouch. Now you can often line up to get more than two, but two is all you need to get a crazy secure connection. You also have a little bit of play due to the slot design. So you can actually leave things a little bit loose and then play with the actual angle and then lock it all down in the position that you like it. Once you have the holes identified, peel back the rear of the pouch and insert the end of the nut in the corresponding slot. This part can be kind of tricky and I recommend getting a flat head or other tool to hold the pouch open and get the nut into the correct position. I use the single side hole and the top slot to get an aggressive angle to clear my gear. Customization at this level comes at a little bit of a cost, so yeah, this part can be a bit of a pain. It's really just tedious, so take the time at the front to determine the angle that you want so you don't put it all together and then realize it's not the angle that you want and you gotta move all the nuts around again. Next, you can place the rubber grommet in place to keep the nut secured. Then place your screw and washer through the ADAPT and connect it into the nut underneath. As I noted earlier, I wouldn't tighten everything down until you've tested it out and verified it's in the perfect position. And then I would even recommend using some blue Loctite to keep it all secured in position way into the future. Me, I move all my pouches around a lot and test a lot of different stuff. So I just torque the hell out of mine. Once you have things set around where you think you want it, go ahead and feed the ADAP through your Molly slot to put it in position. By putting it through the Molly slot, you can kind of just test things out to see if it's the actual angle that you wanted. Like I said, if you left things kind of loose, it gives you a little bit of room to adjust some of the angle to see if you want it more this way or that way, or get it just perfectly where you want it or realize that's not where you want it at all. If you play with the angles and realize you don't have enough play to go actually where you want it to be set, that means you gotta go back and reset where all the screws are and realign everything on the rear. So that's why I say again, to play with it before you lock it all down. Once you love it, torque both the screws down. Here, you could also remove them one at a time after you've tightened them to add Loctite so it stays in your set position. Once you have the screws in position, reinstall it on your belt or molly slot and we add in the rear nut so the head is facing our pouch. The rubber grommet goes over the top like before and we can screw it in place and lock everything up. I will also say that the hardware has a dead giveaway if you installed everything correctly, 
If you have no hardware left over, well, congratulations, you did it right. If you have extra hardware, go back, take things apart and see what step you missed. Now, I did say I did a bit of a trick with the front mag pouches, and let me show you how I actually set up the second pouch in this setup. For the second pistol pouch, I use an ADAP2 short instead of the one. This allows me to get a more aggressive angle as I have more options in terms of connection and angle control. Installation is the same though, as we first line up the holes in the angle we want, put our two nuts in the correct position, then add in our screws on the ADAP2 along with our rubber grommets, and then add into our belt and then add in nut, grommet, and tighten screws to lock everything in place on the belt. So the ADAPT1 on the front pistol pouch and the ADAPT2 shorts are what I used to get this perfect double pistol configuration if you want to copy how I have things set up. I can't take credit for this, so don't like say thanks to me. Dynamic Principles taught it to me and I'm just teaching it to you. For our giveaway pouches, we're also gonna have a ton of the ADAPT ones, ADAPT two shorts, all the different stuff in there. So you have a lot of the same stuff to make this exact same configuration. Now though, let's move into the cantable mag pouch and it's very similar to these. Here we see the cantable rifle mag pouches have the same design as the pistol mag pouches with the customizable outer layer and inner s textile inserts. Much like the pistol mag pouches in this style, the retention and re-indexing is just fantastic. On the rear, we see the same connection system as the pistol mag pouches to give us a full customization of the rifle mag pouch orientation. We set it up the same way as our pistol mag pouches with aligning our adapter to our angle, connecting the hardware, and then connecting into our setup. I will say the rifle mag pouches help to just tweak your whole setup. If you need to move things to get around gear, like if you're running into your side plates, or just to have a more faster and more ergonomic way to get to your mag pouches. My favorite bit is that if I have some equipment that's just like ramming into like a radio pouch or something, I can go in and actually adjust those pouches to make the whole setup a ton more functional, and not have to just be like, oh, I have to scrap that because it doesn't work. So I really think that's everything as it comes to the cannibal pistol and rifle mag pouches and how to set it all up. So let's go into some pros and cons. And I think I really only have like two main ones. The first one is a pro and it's a huge one. And that's full customization of the angle and ride height in one of the best mag pouch designs on the market. Having great re-indexing and retention has become the standard for this tier, but adding in the ability to adjust the angle or ride height for any position, and suddenly you have something completely wild. From vertical to angle to horizontal, you have a mag pouch that can just do whatever you want and still give a competition level of performance regardless of orientation. You don't have to buy different special mag pouches that only work in like one angle or one orientation. You have one pouch and you can change it to whatever you want. It's funny because in this situation, you're really only limited by your imagination. Instead of being limited by your wallet where you, you buy like 80 different pouches and realize none of them actually work or they don't work exactly how you want them to. Now though, all things have cons and this was the, the other thing I wanted to mention. That's the con and that it takes a while to set everything up right. Aligning all the bits and then fishing in the nuts can be a pain. All the hardware also means something could work its way loose and likely need Loctite to keep it all set in place. So it's a lot and if you're running your pouches in just a standard vertical configuration, I'll say that these probably aren't the pouches for you. But if you want to literally customize everything, you can take some time and set it up exactly how you want. Can you guys hear that? I'm having to like share what I want to say in between the annoyances of all these god awful stupid things. I had to actually move inside because the cicadas were so loud. They're actually maxing out my mic. So you guys are getting a bit of a sneak peek as to what I've been working on. Now, after spending some time with the cannibal mag pouches and both the pistol and the rifle and setting them all up, what are my final thoughts? I really feel like Dynamic Principles hit it out of the park to give veteran users a solution to customize their gear when they want things set up just perfectly. From angled mag pouches to unique mission specific configurations, these cannibal pouches literally do it all. I really feel like these are like S-Tac Plus 
And I really love the setups we can put together. Now, as I mentioned, Dynamic Principles also gave us some extra pouches for a giveaway for all of you also. The set in our giveaway includes two pistol and two rifle cannibal mag pouches in Multicam Alpine, along with an assortment of eight apps for our winner. Make sure to enter through the link down below in our description, and I'll make sure to hide some secret phrases through some of our videos and some of our community posts that should help you win also, so make sure to pay attention. Now, where you're gonna find a Multicam Alpine belt to match? Well, that, that I have no idea. I'll make sure to keep an eye out though because I feel a whole Multicam Alpine configuration in my future too. But I hope this video on the Dynamic Principles Cannibal Mag Pouches was useful in your purchasing decisions. I want to say thanks to all of our YouTube and Patreon members. You guys make it possible we get to test all the gear and see how it works and show you how to put it all together. And then you can decide if it's worth your money. And I just love being able to do this for you. And I want to say thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below how you would set up these Cannibal Mag Pouches. And if you're excited to win that Multicam Alpine set. <laughs> I know, I may just steal them. All right, everyone, wash out. Stupid cicadas. So the bad part about coming into here to record in here, you escape from the cicadas. Now you have the now you have the cat wanting to come in and help me record every two seconds. So I wonder if you guys can hear him. He's fantastic. But I really do like these. Uh, the customization is fantastic. So I hope you guys check them out. Um, being able to use S Tech style. Customize all the angles, do everything. Just, just fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm putting all this together too. This is the old lockdown setup. I'm just testing some things out. So, see more in the future. All right, everybody. Get, get, get out of here. Go enter to win. Win all this stuff. Uh, secret phrase. Secret phrase. Uh, oh, let's do a fi fireball. Those of you who stayed all the way to the end here, hey, there's one for you. All right. I'll watch it. I'll do more. All right. Go away.